What's up everyone? Wet work here and today as you can see we have custom Lego Spider-Man Homecoming minifigures. So we have Shocker in the front because he's my favorite Spider-Man villain. Got homemade suit Spidey, tech suit Spidey, Iron Man, and Vulture. So yeah. By the way, Vulture's wings did take me a couple hours to decide on the design. Iron Man was probably one of the easiest because I basically have been making these Iron Man for a long time. I know what to do. The Spider-Man was probably the easiest out of all of them. This is probably probably my best regular Spider-Man. <laughs> it's crazy. I must show you what it the Spider-Man was going to look like. Would have looked like this. Now this is the Civil War one and I keep it in the Civil War display. But yikes. Guys, not as pretty as the other one, and I'll show. I'll go, do a comparison later, and sadly, he will be in the Civil War showcase video that I do. <sighs> so yeah, I haven't seen the movie, and I know this as a fact. I'm pretty sure that Shocker does not wear this cool mask it's on this action figure in the movie. I'm pretty sure I heard he doesn't even wear a mask, but I really like this mask, so I decided I really like the mask on the action figure, so I decided to base everything off the action figure, and besides, I like the mask, and I prefer him with a mask, so forget forget accuracy in this. I want it to be good, just like my Baron Zemo. So, without further ado, let's get into the minifigures. First up is Tech Suit Spidey. No, not Tech Suit. Um, Homemade Suit Spidey. It's probably the easiest. The only hard part would be trying to get that red torso. Red torsos are hard to come by in this house. Because, ahem, <laughs> Flash, ahem. <laughs> so many people that need red torsos. And all my red torsos have printing except for one. It's used on the that I used for the flash and then is getting used for a guy from it the Eddie from it but yeah I don't know where I got this head oh yeah the hero factory sets so um starting off with his legs is as you can see I did get the red all around his feet for the shoes it's really about it for his legs yep not that much to do like talk about on on his arms he's got the web shooters it's kind of hard to see them with this terrible crappy camera but you can see yeah I can see them right there they have red lines and they're silver they're on each arm they're really good and like, like very straight for using a sharpie. Here's the back. I colored his hood and then his Spidey symbol. Then like a line there. The line also continues on the front and kind of wore off there. And then he's got his zipper line and then the Spidey symbol or the spider symbol. Now I didn't do this one as good as I did it on the other one. I used the regular one. I used the, um thin one for this Spidey and he also has like his you know, the things on the jacket that go down that you pull to get like the hood thinner he has them go the red lines and then they have silver dots on the end his face I looked at a picture and tried to get the best shape for his eyes it's black and then some silver in it then he's got um, a red line going all the way through to the back. Now I think this is pretty funny, but it's kind of it's hilarious because if you do have um, if you made a custom homemade suit Spider-Man, and you have the um, what's his name, Scarlet Spider from the Lego set, they're like 
Scarlet Spider and this home suit, homemade suit Spider-Man are the exact same thing, except the colors are reversed. I think that's hilarious, because the hoodie's supposed to be blue and the rest is supposed to be red. It's the opposite. I think that's hilarious. And if they were trying to make it like that, this is a nod to Scarlet Spider, which I hope appears in the movie. He's my favorite Spider-Man. I have two action figures of him. So yeah, that's basically it for homemade suit Spider-Man. Moving on to the next figure. Now we have tech suit Spider-Man in all of his glory. Yeah, I really like this figure. It turned out really good. Now, the main difference between the um crappy version, which I'll get a stand for, between the not really good version and this version is that his webbing it's really hard to see but I did I looked at pictures I looked at an action figure and reference and I drew with red sharpie all of his webbing and it's pretty good the spider on his back is accurate and he's got like his belt thing with the lines then he's got like a really good looking spider show it though it just looks like a big blob but I got every single, I got all eight legs, and his web shooters are just on like a thin line around his arms, instead of like made like bright, but they do have, I did make them accurate to what it looks like in the movies. He does have the black lines where they need to be on his suit, and then he's got um, black lines running down his legs, and then he's got the same kind of legs, leg design as the other one, except it's got the black lines on it, as in the movie. And his head here, his eyes, they're not as accurate, but I accidentally, it's way better than this one, but I accidentally did the cartoon one, but I don't care because this, as you can see, um, A, there is a big difference. Number one, these lines are just like straight, like lines going like this, and then lines going like this across. So, boop, 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 boop. This one's like actually has like the circle in the middle, and then the lines going down and up. It's way more accurate. So yeah, it's basically it for tech suit Spider-Man. Oh yeah, he's got like the web cartridges I think is what the word is on the back so yeah moving on to our last hero we have Iron Man or Iron Man or Iron Man and I think this is the Mark 47 yeah um most of the design I did for this figure I basically looked at my Mark 46 Iron Man suit that I made because I looked at pictures for that and then just you know drew on the silver where there was silver so yeah if you uh you can, this is the one that you can lift up I colored like the HUD inside it so yeah and I outlined everything on the helmet I gave him the right lines on this helmet Cause like he's got the lines going out like that. You can see Tony Stark face. It's the one that says the angry one. Yeah. Um, I used a um. You now those um Hero Factory torso pieces. Well, I mean, I used a Hero Factory torso piece, painted it red. And then sharpied on all the details as they looked in the movie. I got all the blue lights. I got all the silver lines, all the silver spots. I colored his arc reactor, what it looks like in the movie. Got all the black details. Got some lines there, more lights. Basically, I used a different Iron Man, though. 
for some reason, I accidentally made this Iron Man's arms more accurate than the other ones, but he's got silver up here, and then he's got more red detail down there. Then putting his him back together. I would have gone with like details on his hands, but <laughs> I don't want to. It's too much work for this Iron Man. The Iron Man figures are virtually pretty hard to make. I mean, they're fun, but it's just you gotta put a lot of detail. I mean, there's like like a bunch of gold lines and then black lines and then the, it's just so much stuff to make on them. And 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 I need to say, get, acquiring these Iron Man helmets are not easy. Just saying, I may have to make some orders for the figures instead of just buying the sets. But on this, you can see there's the silver right there. It's got the foot detail. Some more silver on the side, and then basically the exact same on each side of the leg, and then on the back of the leg I got more detail. And on the inside of the legs, there's a bunch of gold lines and black lines and just a bunch of detail just staring at action figures for a long time. I chose not to cut off this pig. I did it on the other one. Just hold on! Oh good, the Iron Man just fell off the stand. Yeah, here's the Civil War Iron Man. Is the It's the exact same Iron Man, just with more silver. Yeah, masks are the same, except I colored his black eye there and on there. Yeah, basically this is what each Iron Man looks like. I mean, they look pretty much the same, number one, because they are the exact same Iron Man suit. But when I do different Iron Man suits, they do look pretty different. That's basically it for Iron Man, and I used a one by one round plate, or I mean tile, one by one round tile, in trans light blue, or clear light blue, and just colored the details on so I can get that like glowing effect. It's better on this one because I colored silver on the part that pigs in so it looks like it's shining i got this one stuck on and it was red underneath so yeah this is the only downside to to this figure but other than that's pretty good iron man pretty accurate and if you noticed on each when i took off the armor and stuff i don't do any shoulder detail because these torso armors have the shoulder detail, and luckily I bought a lot of the Hero Factory sets, so I have a lot of them. Even though I used two more of them on other figures, I got one more left. I'm preparing it for when I got another, like, an Infinity War Iron Man. So moving on to the villains. First up is Shocker, my favorite Spider-Man villain. So. There's one thing you noticed, number one. <laughs> this is what Shocker looks like in the movie. The snake thing from Ninjago. But yeah, um, I used a, uh, a clone, tr those, um, what are they called? Blue clone troopers? Yeah, those blue Mandalor, not Mandalorian, but the blue clone troopers that came in this one pack. It came with the exact same pieces to make a cannon that I, in the red piece, they came with the red pieces that you need for the, um, Penny Mars! And yeah, and I used one of those helmets, cut off the fin on the top, because they had this weird fin. Oh, I'm going to see if I can try to find one. Okay, um, the display changed a little bit. But, yeah, the, one of these helmets, yeah, I had to cut off the fin, 
and then Sharpie of Gold. Then I used char Silver Sharpie, then I colored his eyes in, outlined all the Silver Sharpie, and then this little pattern, like the line pattern that Shocker has. Did it on his arms too. He's also got his silver gauntlets that have no detail because I have to go to bed. But yeah. He also has, like, his, like, he does have detail on the, um, his shoes which go all the way around. And I extended it higher just like the action figure had it and drew on the detail. His torso was pretty hard. It was can probably take off all this and see what it used to be. It used to be Finn's torso! You know, Finn from Star Wars, the guy that everybody wanted an action figure of? Oh, burn. Yeah, and then I colored on silver, and then I outlined it, and then I just drew in a bunch of lines and details on him, just like he does in the has in the movie then I put his jacket on and then showed some of his undershoot and yeah um got um a neck brace thing that has stud on the back and then put um this slope it used to be um falcons but forget you falcon is cause of that backpack that he has doesn't even look anything like it that's basically it for shocker Moving on to the last figure, which has gotten two different helmets, Vulture. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Vulture. Just gonna move back the camera. You can see his entire wingspan. Taking the wings off. Taking these ginormous wings off for a second. Um, taking a look at the Vulture figure. You can, number one, probably tell that he is, he's just crappy Spider-Man, bigger than Spider-Man. And that's because I used the Darth Maul legs, because, I mean, it doesn't look like hi that him when he's standing, but, like, if you get him in a pose where he's, like, coming down at Spider-Man, it does look like his sharp feet. And because I didn't want to cut these things off or like sculpt anything on the vulture that would probably most likely break off or ruin these legs, I decided to just add these legs. I got used to it. I colored them black. His arms are have actually no detail. Wow, I just grabbed some random black arms with blue lines from the one Batman and just put them on. Number one, I, I did have a good face for him. I'll grab it. Don't know what happened. Somehow the head got, the other head got onto a stormtrooper. So yeah. I just used a, um, clone trooper head. Cause, you know, I thought that kind of looked like the actor kind of but you're mainly gonna see this. I have, you can see this weird look. Um, geez, the gold is like, hold on. Okay, that's better. Apparently for some reason the fur on his shoulders like wore off entirely somehow or I didn't color it good. But yeah, I got his undershirt to his name, um, Plo Koon Torso. For some reason I tried to do some detail on his back. He's got the fur up there. It doesn't really matter because it's getting covered up with this. Which will get covered up with the wings. But yeah, I got like, based off all of this figure off that one Hasbro figure. And then, I heard it was flipping inaccurate. But, I don't care. He's got like the like straps there and then like the straps connect there and then there's like two balls there like for like the hook things and then there's some black there and then that's it. it 
except for the helmet. Again, use this except Sharpie did silver, drew on the lines on the back, drew the big black like line, like what's it called? Like the um like visor thingy, and then I drew some green eyes. He did have another head. It, I used a stormtrooper helmet, like I saw in this one video, and then I did it like this, and then I was like, you know what? I grabbed this helmet, and I was like, I like, I think this helmet looks a little bit more like it. Then I tossed that helmet out, put that helmet on, and then I liked it. So, <gasps> moving on to the wings. Here are the wings. They are articulated. They mainly consist consist of these giant plates. They got green here. They there's tan things and blue things, but I co covered them up. And then he's got these dishes for those things. All I wanted to do is get a nice simple design for his wings. I'll probably update it in a different video. So that's basically it for Vulture. Now to end off this jeez 20 God, I won. minute long video. I'm also sorry for saying 21 like. Well that's basically it for this video. If you like the video, like the video. I'm not forcing you. I am forcing you to subscribe. Please subscribe. It would help my channel get noticed and spread this. And this is actually pretty easy um to make. I mean, Spider-Man is and these guys are. Probably not the Iron Man or this guy or this guy. But you know, they're just simple figures that you could, if you don't have one, just grab a couple of pieces, grab a Sharpie and do it. That's what I basically did. Now, I will have to say this. The reason why I started making custom minifigures was because of the YouTuber Michael MGF. I saw his Flash video and I was like, I want a Flash Lego. And then I made one and I was like, thank you. I'm so glad I noticed you. And, uh, yeah, so that's who gave me the inspiration to make these. Uh, yeah. So, the reason why I have these today is because of him. So, yeah, big thanks to him for making me have custom minifigures. I forgot he existed for a long time, though. But, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Subscribe to check out more crazy things. Now, the Breaking News series will have another episode. It's just, you know, a lot of things going on. So, yeah, that's basically it. Subscribe again. It's like the third time I've said this. And see you all next time. And bye-bye and peace out. Please subscribe.